Good Monday morning, everybody, and welcome to another Atlanta Brick Co. Hall video. We'll start off out front this morning. This is just a fraction of the stuff that we've started to get in from the Portland Hall. If you're interested in that, you could uh, shoot us a message and we're able to uh, maybe send you the uh, spreadsheet from that. But we'll take a, just a quick glance over what we got going on over here. These will all start to make their way out for sale out in the store. A lot of the better sets will also be put online, so you'll be able to get them on our website. And let's go ahead and head into the back and see what else we got in over the weekend. All right, starting off in the back here, looks like we've got a couple of the San Diego Comic-Con uh, Black Widow Taskmasters ambush set there, very cool. We've got some slightly older Harry Potter sets here, including some brick heads. We've got the Fantastic Beasts Newt and Grindelwald. We've got the Hermione Granger and the Ron and Dumbledore. And underneath those, we've got that version of Hogwarts, as well as one of the early versions of the Night Bus. Looks like Hagrid's Hut. And let's see what the last one is underneath. Looks like the giant uh, Harry and Hermione buildable figures there. And these all these are all the sets. I think those are just the boxes and instructions there. Keep going this way. That looks like a big bag of bulk to me. Maybe some Hero Factory parts in there. There's a lot of parts that seem to be sorted by type. Those will be good for our wall. And let's pan over here. Looks like we've got maybe a Ninjago Legacy set there. Yep, Thunder Raider. And I think these boxes came in as well. Got some bulk there. A couple Technic vehicles there, maybe. Oh no, that's a uh, that's a Two Face vehicle from Batman. And then Grave Digger, monster truck, and looks like an ATST there. Some more parts. Looks like a lot of people trade in parts this weekend. Over here, I think this one might be new. Thanos Ultimate Battle there. And let's go this way a little bit more. These things, I believe, are new. There's a very large friend set. Looks like a hospital. And a couple extra vehicles there. Some that very nice Speed Champions Ferrari. Over here, we've got a very nice classic vintage airport with a clear blue tower there. Very classic plane. There's the windsock piece down there. It looks like we've got a bat copter parked at our parked at our airport today. Over here we've got a couple Batman sets, some junior stuff, but some very cool minifigures nonetheless. And over here, these are some new things we got. Looks like we've got a modular bookshop there. Here's the other half of that one. We've got the uh, medieval blacksmith pre-built. And then this one down here looks like the Friends Central Perk. Yep, and there's the box for that one. And the box for the Blacksmith and Modular underneath there as well. There's a couple things here on the back table. They may be from previous weeks, but I'm going to cover them anyway. we got the UCS Land Speeder there. Looks like another Batmobile there. There's a very nice Sesame Street build. It's a very cool one. Looks like Oscar the Grouch is still there in his trash can. And up here we've got some nice Star Wars sets. There's a nice, a couple different of the uh, cantina scenes. Looks like at least three different of the uh, most Eisley cantina sets. And this is a very cool, I think this was a limited edition uh, Hoth base there. Very cool. Over here we've got just a couple other things people traded in. Some large boat hulls. A uh, shield vehicle down there, a large TIE fighter, there's another TIE fighter there, here's a couple mini figs we got, ooh, very nice uh, soldier there, baseball player, classic, uh, let's see, the, the uh, black and white kind of mime or clown there, there's some city space sets it looks like, there's a large city jet, and down there, I believe that's the TIE Fighter from Star Wars. Yes, regular TIE Fighter there. 
and an Avengers compound down here. Let's see, that looks like a Batmobile from the Lego Batman movie. And over here, that looks like a Bad Batch shovel there with that same blue and lime green. Yep, because there's the box for that. And a Boba Fett helmet. Very cool. And lastly out here, we've got some very cool old vintage boxes. So let's take a look through some of these. There's a very nice hospital, a fireboat, and it looks like most of these sets are probably in here, maybe bagged separately. So that one I believe is called like a Viking ship or something like that. Very nice classic castle sets here. Mark's going to be sad if he uh, misses out on some of these. Very nice with the classic Lion Knights there. Let's see what else we got hiding down here. This is the original Forestman's Hideout. Not to be confused with the recent gift with purchase. And down there, there's that castle. Wow, that's very cool. Let's see, here's Magisto's Magical Workshop. Some other small ones. These do seem to all be uh, either bagged separately or present with their boxes. So I'm sure we'll try and get as many of these certified pre-owned as we can and out for sale. That one I remember is the Twin Arm Launcher. That one's really nice with that cloth sail there. Very nice print on that one. On the Black Knights. Let's see, there's that one. And I believe that one's called the Dragon Wagon from Dragon Masters. Sometimes called Dragon Knights, but it does say Dragon Masters on the box see down here. There's a nice little small one. And try and show off as many of these as I can. There's another little Magisto's hideout kind of thing there. There's all those forest min minifigs. Hopefully they still have their plumes with them. I see a few plumes in there. Hopefully all the good ones are there. Let's take a look at that castle one more time. Oh yeah. That's the one that was the inspiration for the 90th anniversary castle. And let's go this way a little bit. Here's a box that has some more of the pieces for some of those sets that were up on the on top. I definitely see that hospital in there. And what looks like the fire boat as well. Some nice classic road base plates there, an old dark gray. And some of those nice old raised base plates too. As well as a couple of Duplo. Duplo vehicle bases. Also got a good number of minifigs here that got traded in. Some very nice ones. I see that Kaminoan back there. Got a whole bunch of dark troopers it looks like. Got some Bad Batch figs. There's a whole bunch of Marvel figs. There's some Overwatch down there at the front. Two very big Thanoses of course. Let's go into this bin over here. Looks like we've got a little bit of Lord of the Rings, some CMFs, some Harry Potter. Some Toy Story. There's Scooby. Let's go over here through some of these bags. This looks like a lot more CNFs. There's that King. I know a lot of people are after him now to go with the uh, Lion Knight's castle. Let's see who else we got in here. Let's flip that over. There's the plant guy. Some very nice ones there. Here's a ton of Star Wars figs in here. Ethan's going to go through these and get those put in the Star Wars drawer, and those will go up for sale. Most of those should be on our website very soon. Here's some brand new collectible minifigures. So there's the Night Girl. We've got the Turkey, the little Elf Girl. Looks like some more turkeys that never got opened. There's the Boat Captain. And that may be it. Let's see, in this bag over here, looks like some Ninja Turtles, and maybe some non-Lego figures in there as well. And there's our Star Wars drawer right now, so most of those will be making their way out into our store and onto our website. So you should see them uh, available for sale very soon.
Thank you all for joining our Monday morning Atlanta Brick Co. Hall. If you've seen anything here that you're interested in purchasing or getting a price quote on or something like that, feel free to shoot us a message on atlbrick.com or you can give us a call on our phone number. That should be down in the description. And we will see you in all the rest of our exciting videos later this week. Have a great week, everybody.